What's up guys, it's Ryan Leonard. Welcome back to another video. So a couple weeks ago I made a video talking about these strange, um, over-exaggerated, deep posts that people were making online. And you guys seem to really like that video. I really enjoyed making it too. So today I decided to look at some more of those type of posts and put them into this video. So the first one is, when life is difficult and everything turns bad, always remember that even a turtle can finish a race as long as he never gives up. Good morning. I think if I was going through a serious problem, that wouldn't really help me at all. Like if I was sad, I lost all motivation, I was going through hardship, I can't just think, oh wait, turtles can win a race. Why Why am I even sad? Everything's good. My life is all good. Yeah, turtles can finish races. I'm, I'm good. Okay, so to give some context for this next one, it is set in a world where people and animals are like switched. So yeah, let's take a look. It says, Hi, we would like to adopt an abandoned human. Sorry, we don't have it. Animals never give up on humans. Wait, why do they have a whole shelter for humans in the first place then? Their whole job is just to sit there all day and tell people that they don't have anything to give them? Okay, this says, same idea, different design. Then it shows a bear trap and a wedding ring. I mean, I've never really used a bear trap before, but I feel like those are not exactly the same thing. Here, I'll look up what a bear trap does. Animal trapping, or simply trapping, is the use of a device to remotely catch an animal. Animals may be trapped for a variety of reasons, including food, the fur trade, hunting, pest control, and wildlife management. Is that why people are getting married these days? Babe, I've been thinking a lot about this recently, and I just want to ask you a question. Uh, okay, what is it? Will you marry me? Yes. Yes! Now I can finally use you for food, fur trade, hunting, pest control, and wildlife management. This post says, I finally realized it. People are prisoners of their phones. That's why they're called cell phones. Uh, no, it's short for cellular phones. This one says, This is what society does nowadays when somebody needs help. I'm disappointed. And then it shows a gigantic explosion. Okay, I somewhat agree with what they're saying here, but this is just so overdramatic. Like, yeah, maybe if someone saw two people fighting in public, instead of, like, intervening and possibly putting themselves in danger to help both of them, they'll just kind of stand to the side and maybe film it. But now you're talking about just standing by in a fiery, huge explosion. Like, imagine if people actually acted like that. Hey, what's up? How are you? I mean, yeah, I've been good. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Ah, 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 bro, I'm literally on fire. Please do something. Save me. Help me. Please. Ah, 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 ah. Alright, this next one is a deep, sad story. Let's check it out. A girl and a boy were driving a car. Suddenly, the boy stopped the car and asked the girl to step out of the vehicle without any explanation. The girl got annoyed, removed all her Facebooks, and ripped all the photos. The next day, the girl heard that the boy had died as he had driven into a wall. The boy had noticed that there was a wall in front of them, had stopped the car, and saved the girl's life before he had driven into the wall. Wait, so he saw the wall in front of them, stopped, and then just proceeded to drive right into it? I think this was trying to copy another story. Like, I heard this one story... Um, a boy and a girl were riding on a motorcycle and the boy realized the brakes were broken so he gave the girl his helmet and then when they crashed only the girl survived but I think they were trying to take that same idea but it just doesn't make sense in this situation. Like imagine this actually happening. <gasps> There's a wall ahead of us that we're about to crash into. Just get out of the car right now. I don't want us both to die. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Wait, why do you still have to crash into the wall? What? I mean, you literally just stopped, so your brakes obviously still work. And also, can you just, like, drive around it or something? And also, why is there a wall in the middle of this street? That makes no sense. Bro, just shut up. I'm trying to save your life here. Alright. Alright, this next one is an Instagram post. It's a dialogue between two people. It says, Why don't people like us? Because we're different. This is just a thought, but maybe people don't like you because they're weirded out that you walk around with purple sheets over your head. Alright, this next one is an Instagram post captioned, 
cheating won't get you anywhere. Here it is. Yeah, maybe it's true that cheating won't get you anywhere, but I feel like the bigger message that this conveys is these guys are just trash at cheating. So maybe it makes sense that this one guy would get it wrong because he's reading the answer upside down, so he might accidentally flip it, but what's wrong with the rest of these guys? Like, look at this guy. He has a full, unblocked view of the test. Like, the guy next to him isn't even, like, covering it up or anything, and he still can't get the right answer. He just ended up writing a backwards 9. How can you not know how to write the number 9? Like, does this kid not understand numbers? Like, honestly, in that case, if the kid doesn't even know what numbers are, I don't blame him for trying to cheat on a math test. Alright, this next one says, Zoom in and see this picture before leaving food in your plate. It gives a moral lesson to society not to waste food. And then, yeah, if you look closely, you can see a bunch of people on the plate, like, reaching out for the food. Honestly, that is a very good moral lesson. Like... People should not store food inside of their plate. Like, I don't know why anyone would store food in their plate in the first place, but, um, yeah, I guess, like, if you, if you happen to be storing food in your plates, uh, take it out because other people can be eating that food. So, yeah, um, hopefully that will fix society. Okay, this one says, Your government is lying to you. You are little more than slaves. Wake up, you idiotic human. And this guy's just watching all that saying, beautiful. This really shows how people are failing to just see what's right in front of them. Like, I'm not talking about government corruption or something like that. Like, I'm talking about people don't realize how smart birds are. Like, they've been spying on the government. They're giving us all this information. But all we can see, all when we look out the window, all we can see is just music notes. I found a deep post that I actually agree with for once. This says, if you had a dog feed it every day, but if you don't, don't. Bobby Shmurda. I mean, it seems obvious that, like, if you have a dog, you need to feed it, and if you don't have a dog to feed, like, you can't feed it because you can't feed a dog that doesn't exist. But either way, I feel like this, this quote alone can teach us more than, like, every single other one of these posts combined. Um, this is an Instagram post. It, I forgot the exact caption. It was something about, like, saying how life used to be better in the olden days. Here it is. So it's these people um, planting grass and stuff, and then it's nowadays people picking up trash. I mean, yeah, other than the fact that there was child labor, inequality, shorter life expectancy, worse hygiene, less developed medicine, um, other than those things, yeah, life was so much better. This is an Instagram post that was captioned, unlock your mind, and it, this is it. I mean, that's cool, but they're still like all locked up in prison. It doesn't really mean anything to have your own head unlocked. But I mean, I guess it is better than like sitting up against this two inch ledge in like this looks like a super uncomfortable position. Like, do people really sit like that? It looks like he sit, he's like... I feel like that's the most uncomfortable position possible. Okay, this is actually an ad on Instagram. It says, warning, this account will ruin you understanding on life. What if the only reason we can't walk through mirrors is because our reflection blocks us? I mean, that's a cool thought, but I don't think it's as insane as they were making it seem like. No one's just gonna read that little thing and be like, You ruined my understanding of life! Alright, that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I got most of these from a subreddit called... I, I think I forgot the name of it in the last video too, but it's something deep. It'll be in the description if you want to see more posts like that. And other than that, that's pretty much it for the video, as I said. So, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and never leave food inside of your plates. See you in the next video.